Alright, I'm back with part 45 of PC Building Simulator. Yeah, so, I did an oopsie. I, I recorded an episode but my mic was muted, so we're doing this again. That's alright, we got 40,000. This is pretty much what I had to do last time, so. Another day, another painful experience, it's just how this business works. So, let's see what we have to do then. Uh, I'll quickly check the emails. There's probably some unwanted messages there. Uh, there we go. Discarding everything. Great. Okay, so they need a power supply, an air cooler, and a graphics card. And they want a 3D Mark score of 13,000. With this case. What? Why do you want that case? Why would anyone want this case? It's just like, it's a box. <laughs> It's inconvenient, it's sad. Okay, they have a good processor, a tiny motherboard. They have 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte storage. So all they need, air cooler, a good graphics card, and a power supply. Is that this one? No. Which one is it? It's that one, isn't it? Okay, I have $6,000 to achieve this with. So that's not too bad. Let's start off with the power supply. They want a thousand watts. That's doable. I mean, it's inconvenient, but doable. Extreme ser like serious. There we go. They need CPU cooling. They have a... Ryzen 9 12 core. Let's find that. We go Ryzen 9 12 core. Here we go. That is AM4 socket. So we go cooling socket AM4. Find something that'll fit. Will this fit? Hopefully. Add to cart. Uh, and a graphics card. Now their case is small and inconvenient, but we need some VRAM. So let's go minimum VRAM, 24. <laughs> this isn't going to work out well. Okay, anything under 300 by a fairly reasonable amount, 285. How big is this case? I need to find it. It is a, uh, it is a cube, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so it is 290 is the max graphics card length. The one I was looking, or the graphics card I was looking at, had a, uh, like the 285 was it? It might fit. Yeah, 285 should fit, in theory. So I'm going to add that to cart. Same day, by now. Run over here, pick up our stuff, run back this way. Uh, install the graphics card. Oh yeah, of course, the uh, the lock. Hang on, let's actually start off with the cooler, the, the CPU cooling. So I know that I won't have to be squeezing in here later to try and cram that in. Okay, that fits. Got to remove that. Install the power supply. Remove this annoying cable. Install the PSU mount. Then install the PCI lock. Then I have to install the side panel. Now, a USB would help since we require the 3D Mark software. So let's power this up and see what we can get okay what do you know it's already installed how eager okay I'll let that run because it's painful to watch then I'll go over here and upgrade their stuff to 16 gigs they have two four gigs that's not enough let's just swipe this okay and they want Corsair RAM that's easy 
So I go memory, I go manufacturer, I go Corsair, and I just find 16 gigs, add to cart, same day delivery. Buy now. Brilliant. I'm getting that. Chucking this in here. i sure that'll do. Then sell that and sell that. PC parts, their side panel, power it up. Assuming that this powers up, we're good. That's somehow still going. They have a lot of frames though, so that should be enough. This one's done. Yes. Great. This one should be finished soon. I'm hoping. And that's al uh, it's almost definitely better than 13,000, surely. I spent a lot of money. I had a $6,000 budget. I think I should get like 4,000 profit. I don't remember how much the graphics card was. I think it was a fair bit. Like 800 for a graphics card. I oh, know. 16,000. That beat our uh, our goal. So that's pretty good. That means that this is a done. Okay. What does this need? There's a printer issue coming from tray 3. There we go. Perfect. You just need to hit it until it works. Okay, replace the power supply. Ah. Okay, that's not a difficult task. I just need to grab this. Go inventory. Power supplies. Uh, FSP. Is that a manufacturer? I hope so. It is. Great. Now, add to cart. That's the one they have. Same day. Buy now. Pick it up. Install it. Selling the broken one, of course. Ta da! Now, if I power that up, I can install the panels and we will be done place and delivery area okay last job I need to build them a computer that can do what exactly so let's collect our money for this 4700 brilliant 1000 uh, 175 uh, 200 bucks okay what do we get from this stuff that could allow what I am going to ignore that little bottom bit. Okay, they want four rainbow lights and a 3D mark score of 8,000. The case should count. So, if I can go shop case or cases, uh, can I find a RGB case? Is there a filter for that? A oh, lighting, there is. Okay. Here we go. Okay, SATX will work. Uh, power supply ATX, okay, that should all be good. Let's go to motherboard. Uh, form factor. SATX. Let's see. I have used Steel Legend before and it was good. I suppose I could use this again. That uses AM4 sockets, which is good because then I can go here, AM4, and get some good Ryzen stuff. Let's get a Ryzen 7 8 core, I suppose. Uh, and cooling uh, socket AM4 is just uh, almost everything here works with it uh, I've got to keep in mind that they want rainbow lights though so let's also chuck in the filter for RGB so right now we have the case possibly a motherboard and now a fan that will light up this has RGB lighting apparently, so I'll add that because it's very cheap. Uh, memory. 
Corsair has got RGB lights, I'm pretty sure. Let's check before I do that. They do. Okay. Let's see. Have they got 16 gigs? No. Okay. We'll just get rid of that filter. Go to a da 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 Let's go VRAM minimum uh, 10 gigs. This one I've decided. Oh, that's lighting is red though. Can we get something that has RGB lights? Here we go. This. Add to cart. Okay. Got storage. Have I got a power supply? Scanning. Not yet. So, let's get that. And they need case fans. Let's just get, I don't know, three of these. That should be fine. Same day delivery. Buy now. Pick this stuff up. Grab that sticky note. Slap it on the case. Put it here. Open it up. Install a motherboard. Wait for that to be done. Remove the front stuff. Okay. Uh, case fans. Just so happen to be the exact same one that I already bought. Which is quite convenient. I must say. Let's just install another one of those there then. Keep it consistent. Can sell that. Okay. Let's quickly chuck the dust filter and so, so forth back on. You never know when you're going to need that kind of stuff. Well, you do. It's when you're using the computer. Okay, let's chuck in our processor. Close that. Get thermal paste. Slap that on there. Get our cooling system. Chuck it in. Open up a, a RAM slot thing. Chuck in RAM. Hear the appreciation. It sounds like silence. Okay, let's remove that and these two PCI covers. Chuck that in there. Install the PCI lock. We're going at a pretty good pace. Storage, that should be on this side, I think. Huzzah, I was right. Okay, we can install our hard drive. Close that. Chuck in a power supply while I'm here. That's plugged everything in. Okay, then we can chuck on our side panels. Uh, quickly install a USB and power it up. Then I will install lighting software and the 3D Mark software. And that's how we do business. Okay, let's go here. Lighting uh, and 3D Mark Advanced Edition. You should note. Note through the Advanced Edition part. That's how you know that we mean the business. Okay, we've restarted this. Oh, there's rainbow lights now. Don't know what I did to make them do that, but sure. Let's just make sure all the lights are like that, though. You know, we don't want, we don't want that, that little issues, you know. Select all. Rainbow. Apply. They should all be flashing in synchronization. Then we run this. And we should be good. I mean, they're, they're, they should, yeah, they look like they're running in sync. You can see them through there as well. That's kind of cool. And let's just sit back and watch this slowly move stuff because it takes a long time to do yeah I don't know I'm just kinda watching it it's 
probably the most time consuming part of this game, the uh, stress tests for the 3D mark scores. They take a long time and they aren't the most enjoyable. Okay. It's still going. I don't know if I'm at like the halfway point or if it's just not cooperating at all. Who knows? Okay, 8,500. Cut it close, but we got it. Well, close ish. So. That means this is done. I can chuck it in the delivery area. Check the email. Collect. $700 profit is pretty good. And that's where I'm going to leave it off. So, that was part 44 of PC Building Simulator. If you liked it, like it. If you have suggestions for other games I should play, leave that in the comments. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. I'm a skedaddle. See ya.